All right, guys, I know it's been a while. Haven't posted a video. It's because I've been working on my daily driver, yeah, my truck. But um, I'm back, the weather's nice today. Hopefully it's getting nicer so I can start working on this car more and more. But yeah, I'm gonna do the 60K service uh, or the timing belt replacement and the water pump and the tensioners and all that stuff. So yeah, I have the car up in jack sands. Everything's safe and secure. So I'm gonna start tearing it apart. All right, so I have this uh, part from the last video where I just you know took the timing belt covers off to help out. I'm gonna take off this motor mount. I have a jack stand and a piece of wood underneath the engine that we can hold it up once I take the motor mount out. Uh, what else? Yeah, just start taking apart those brackets. Never done this before, so I'm new. Probably gonna mess up something, but. Try to be careful and take my time. Just want to show you guys whoever did this last. As you can see, it's missing a bolt right there, another one right here. My socket stayed on there. Now that I got the piping off that uh, tube, I'm going to use a rag to cover it so nothing falls down. Alright, so next, take off that motor mount. Alright, as you guys can see, there's one nut here, and there's a nut missing from there, and there's another uh, nut on this side, so I got one. See this thing kid. Tight. Got a lot of power tools. I'm gonna have uh, links in the description to some of my walkie tools I use the most. Help you save time, make your life easier too. This side we have 17. guys so I just tapped on this with the hammer and so the engine moved down a little bit and then with this I should show you this better I use my pry bar so I get the bolt out there you go you just lift this out. There goes the engine mount. Right, here's a quick tip: you're gonna want to put your uh, lock washers back on these studs, so you don't misplace them. You could probably bag and tag these parts. It's hardware or whatever, but for this stuff, I like to just put it back where it came from. That way, I don't have leftover parts when I'm putting this back together. All right, next thing: we're gonna move the alternator in the bracket to hold it. Is this bracket that bolts up to this one so I'm gonna remove all these bolts and take this one out Whoa. Use, you loosen that, all well, these two bolts, so your alternator is moving around. I'm gonna come underneath and uh, just grab your belt, just take it off all the pulleys like that. And now, just on the alternator. All right, so I made a mistake. Uh, I gotta put these bolts back so I can take off. Let me just see. There's a bolt that goes through here. The back is just like um like a square. And over here, there's the nut. You take that out, or you can slide this bolt out, and then you can take this bracket off the alternator, so you can leave the alternator inside the car. Okay. 
slide it out. Don't drop your lock washer like I did. Just go digging for it. There you go. And yeah, put your lock washer, then you're not. That way you know what it goes to.